Hello there, this is Rom coming back at you with yet another car video. I gotta read this one. Many squares are called tricks because they think women don't have game. And let me shout out the pimp guy because he inspired that title. Because I'm gonna tell you what, there's a lot of guys out here who think women don't have game. I mean, they was just straight up like, women don't have game, women don't have game. Some square bam ass motherfuckers. How is it that true to the game pimps, players, street cats, shit, even con artists and shit, no women got game. But you got some square motherfuckers who think women don't have game. And I'm going to tell you what, those are the ones who get played. Those are the ones who get played. Because, like, first of all, we're pimps, right? All pimps say is, all they do is really, they acknowledge that women have game. They just turn the game on to women, right? And players, they turn the game on to women. They know women trying to get something. You know, a woman might try something with a player, and he might just say, look, what is it you want? Just tell me what you want. I might or might not give it. They, they might just cut you to chase. But see, you got some square dudes out here who think women are innocent. Dudes. I would think for a second, if women were just all innocent, didn't have game out here, how is it you got some men paying half, half what they made to a woman? How you got some men out here paying a woman's way for everything? How you got some men out here just straight getting played by some women? Straight played. Women cheating on them and everything. That's game. Because all game is is strategy. And women be using that strategy on men. And I'm going to tell you what. A man has to understand that. Because when you get some men who don't know women got game or don't believe women got game, those are the ones women go for. And I'm going to tell you how the biggest game women use, they'll use that innocent thing. <clears throat> they'll pretend like they're innocent or they don't know anything. And they'll get some sucker. I'm going to use the word sucker. I ain't even going to use the word square. I'm going to use the word sucker. They'll get some sucker that think the woman innocent. And the woman be all quiet and stuff and using that. I've seen many a dude play that way. They think some woman innocent and she ain't, she ain't about something. She ain't got no game, anything like that. And they'll get played. That woman will straight play them. She'll straight play them. Wait, man. Because you got a bunch of cars coming around this way. All right, now I can go. But, yeah. Because it'd be some guys serious. And I was like, y'all don't understand women. Shoot. Like I've, I've said before, women, shoot. They, and they, they, don't, they don't be online learning game either. They be learning that from the time they from little girls. They baby girls and stuff. And they figure out, hey, if they cry a certain way, they can get called this big man who they'll call daddy or come a running. Shoot. They be learning. They be watching their mothers playing a game on them and stuff. Yeah, the women, they shoot. Little girls, they will watch their mothers be cheating with another man, running game on the guy that they do end up calling father. And all of that. Dude, women slick with that. Women slick with that. Like, they'll play like they innocent. One of the biggest ways they'll run game on a man is they'll stroke his ego. And a lot of guys get so caught up into that. A woman telling him what he want to hear and everything. Shoot, they'll give up everything. Oh, and especially if a man leading with his wallet. <sighs> Man, some women be like, damn, this is too easy. <laughs> this is too easy. Because that's how they run their game. When you get the women running the game and stuff. And if you don't think they're running the game, okay, hold up, hold up. Think about something. How is it you got some women like paternity fraud? But they'll convince the man. That's game when they say, oh, no, he just looked like my Uncle Junior. Dude don't look like nobody in either one of the family. They'll convince them. 
the woman will convince the man or that they not cheating or getting a man like uh, in family court. Shoot, you see that all the time. I remember when I used to work uh, in the court system in D.C. and stuff, work out of the courthouse anyway. And sometimes during uh, my lunch or during a break, I'd just be sitting in family court. And you'll see the most innocent woman. And you see some guys going in there just about to give up all their money, everything. That woman ain't ran some game on him. Look, fellas, don't think for a second that that woman can't run some game on you. Don't think for a second they so innocent beans and stuff and they don't have game. If they didn't have game, guys wouldn't be giving up money to half their money, half their paycheck, have their wages garnished with some woman or paternity fraud or just giving up money or just giving up whatever or being a friend zone. They be running that game and they know it. Women know that stuff. Like I said, they know when they shoot, when they be fixing up, because they know body game any damn way. Shoot, they know a guy's going to respond to them a certain way. You know, they present their breastuses and everything. Heck, I remember reading that book, The Art of Seduction, by um, Robert Greene. He was talking about Marilyn Monroe. That's how she was running games. She didn't, she, hey. She wore a sweater too tight and knows the guys were acting different. She was like, oh, shit. Uh-oh. Uh-uh. That's gay. Anything a woman does to influence a man, to get her to do what she wants, that's gay. And now, yeah, you do get some women out here who, for whatever reason, don't have gay. All right, if you're lucky enough to run into one of them, cool. If you're lucky. Usually you're not. Usually you're not. But you get some of these women, shoot, they've been around some other women or something like that. Please. Like I heard about this one woman, shoot, she in this like expensive apartment and stuff. Ain't pay for shit in there. She had game. She had game. Or you got some of these renegades who don't. Renegade prostitutes, that's game. Or acculturated prostitutes or as the Honorable Pimp God will call them, acceptable hoes. They running game on some man. Think about it. You got some women, they, they shoot, they ain't paying for shit. They might have money. They might get afford, like, to go out to dinner. But they got some men, like, paying for their dinners and everything. Taking them out. That's game, yo. That's game. And don't get mad at them. You just have to learn as a man how not to be played. That's why I said I learned I ain't never really been played. I told y'all the one time I've been played. The one time I've been really played. And for those who don't remember me saying it, it was that time when I had, uh, before, uh, you know, FaceTime and stuff, way back in the 80s and stuff, this woman had me show up twice and didn't show up. She played me. And really played me not the first time, but the second time. Other than that, never really got played because I would listen to some women. They would tell me. Because they were like, nah, Ron, we, we know how these women are. Shoot. Even having female friends, a female friend to tell you, a true female friend to tell you how not to get played. Because they know it. Women know it. Like I said, they don't, be, they don't be online and stuff talking about some game or something like that. Yeah, you got some women online, but shit, most women who learn game, they shoot, they be learning that from the time they watch their mother and watch what their mother doing to their fathers. You know? It is what it is. It's like, you just have to accept that. And see, what's the title of this joint? Squares get called tricks by those type of women because they be running some tricks on them. They be running some straight tricks on them. They say, shoot, you got this guy. Shoot. And sometimes, even when you being nice, they try to run some game on you. I remember when I was working uh, in one of my thousand jobs in this retail place. 
I gave a young lady a candy bar, right? Some candy. She thought I was just, she thought she could run some game on me, and she tried. No, it was just a case I just didn't like that particular candy, and I was like, well, I could get, I could throw it out, or I could give it to somebody. And she tried, she tried to run some game, and then she just laughed when she said, when I, when I ain't fall for what she was trying to run, and she was like, oh, okay, you got it. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> be, like, be happy I just didn't like that candy. I just didn't like that particular candy. But see, that's game. And you get you get plenty of women, shoot. In fact, I remember there was a young lady I was real cool with. I hadn't talked to her in a while. A Asian young lady. And this is when I first started on here, because she she was one of my earliest supporters. And I was trying to get her to like do a video because she was talking about how she was running game on some men. She was talking about specifically, she was like, yeah, you, you, you know, you can only have so many drinks. You got to do this and that. I know another one right now. She was, uh, I know another one right now. She was talking about telling me one time how she be running games on a guy, knowing how to touch him in a certain way or something like that. Shoot. But see, you get some guys out here, they don't know it, but you know what? These guys don't be getting that. They be thinking that, they be wishing that, but then those are the ones who get played. Those are the ones who, you know, end up giving up more money than they realize. Those are the ones, if they get married, you know, that baby come out or something don't look shit like, don't look like shit like either one of their family. Look like that baby's father's uh, family, though. A lot of guys don't get that. See, understand something. And don't get mad. Yeah, and I know some guys will get mad. They run in some game or something. No, that's just their strategy. You don't get mad. You just turn the game against them. That's what pimps do. That's what true to the game players do. Max do. Shoot. Even some uh, street cats. They don't be getting mad. It's like, oh, okay, I see what you're trying to run. Sure. Sometimes you might see what the woman's running anyway. You would have gave it to her anyway, but you say, well, shit. She running some game. Let me let's let her go through with it or something. Let me let her go through with it. Let me see what she doing and everything. Shit. Just, you know what? Seriously, it is what it is. I'm going to tell you what, see, I'm going to tell you what, man. I grew around some, some grimy-ass, game-running women. But they taught me some shit, plus watch what they were doing. So, shoot, some women trying some, boom. And like I said, if you don't want to be run, first get out your ego. I said, I mentioned that earlier, that's the main way they run it. See, you'll get a woman, she'll she'll run into a guy who don't think women got game and she'll play Miss Innocent. She will play Miss Innocent and then say little stuff and then she'll throw out some like one game out women I, I like how women do. I actually like this game. They'll throw out some, they'll throw out some and make it make you think it's your idea. They'll make you think it's your idea, and then, you know, the guy be like, yeah, I thought of this, and the woman be like, oh, yeah, baby, you got it. Yeah, yeah you, you really thought of that. They ain't going to say shit. Then they get what they want. They will get what, exactly what they want. And a smart woman, shoot, you get some smart women, they'll do that forever. They'll do that forever. Even some women, they'll, they'll get with a millionaire or something, get everything they want out of it, out of the situation, but let the guy think he's doing some stuff. That's game right there, you know? Or, you know, make you think you the bomb in the bedroom and shit. Be like, yeah, damn, that was the biggest one I've ever seen. And the guy be like feeling good and shit. It's like, psh she say that all the time. That's common game. Some guys will go for that. Or how handsome you are. Shoot, they know it. Like I said, stroke your ego. 
one of the ways you got to go against that is you got to like you got to quiet your ego you got to put that ego down it's like okay like I say if a woman ever compliments you or something just say okay just say okay don't let that shit go to your head or something like that because that's how they'll run that game on you just just be like okay seriously just say thank you just be like all right thanks don't let it go to your head though but shoot when women like decide they want to get a guy they 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 shoot they head right for the brain and everything you know or if they get that one who think he's smarter or whatever and don't recognize a woman running game Sometimes they'll play stupid and stuff. They'll let you think you game in her. They'll let you think you game in her. Like I saw, I remember this uh, a couple times I've seen that. A dude think he had control a couple times. A few times. Wait, damn, how many times? I'll say a few times. See some guy with a woman and she all quiet and stuff, but then she give me that little wink or something. And it was like, oh, shit. I told one guy about that. And this woman, she all quiet. I said, yeah, she running shit. I saw it in her eyes. And one guy, well, I ain't gonna call it, I ain't gonna call this person's name. I ain't gonna call this person's name. He was cool, but he was getting played. You know, it's, sometimes it's kind of fun to see that shit. And it ain't gonna be the obvious. The ones who are the most obvious they ain't the ones like walking in front of the man or something like that. Bossing the man around. You know? It's the ones who they know how they they look at you a certain way, know how to like touch you in certain places. Even even that so called choosing signal thing. In fact, that's a good one to use because I've talked about that a few times. You think you cold approaching a woman. Shoot, one game a woman will run is she been clocking you for a while. She might have been clocking you for a few weeks. She already know where you're going to be. That's game right there. That's game right there. She clocking you for a while, and she'll put herself in position where you'll approach her and think you're doing something. That woman's already there. She already knew. That's game, yo. That's game. Because all game is is just strategy. That's all it is. It's strategy. Now, sometimes it might be good for you. A lot of times it's bad for you. And if a woman, she want to get money out of you or whatever she want to get out of you, rest assured she running some type of game on you. And see, as a man, you can't be, you can't have that thought like, if you don't want to get played, you always got to think. You, what you always got to think, in addition to not letting it, not letting your ego get the best of you, but you always got to think, okay, what's she trying to get out of this? You know, some she say some or do some. Always think, what's the motive? What's she trying to do? What's she getting out of this? Always think that. Always give them that. Even if they ain't, still think that. Keep your mind open. Keep your mind sharp. Keep your head on the swivel. Because a lot of guys, seriously, and there's a lot of men out here getting played. And it's especially the ones who think who think women don't have game. It's especially the ones. It's especially the ones who get called tricks or whatever. Think they doing something. Say, hold up. Hold up. Think about something like this. You spending money on her. She getting something out of it. How's that not game? And I know some guys are trying to tell themselves, don't lie to yourself. Don't lie to yourself. Don't come on here lying to yourself. Thinking, oh, yeah, you got control. What control you got? You spending your money on her. She ain't spending her money. She sitting back all quiet and stuff. She getting over on you. So how you winning? How you winning? See, what the pimper do, what the macca do, what the true to the game player do, they just turn that shit on and make it work for them. You know, make it work for them or, you know, if they getting something out of it, they'll say, OK, let me let her run this. Let me let her run this. All right, I'm going to let her do this. I'm going to still get what I'm going to get out of it. That's how you got to look at that shit, man. You know, that's how you got to look at that shit. You know, you can't be uh, 
you gotta pay attention like yo i would say this always know that's a woman's weapon anyway she gonna try to out thank you she even when she seduced you like i said even in situations where you think you approached her that's game right there she saw you for a while think about it always think about it. keep your eyes open or when a woman is like uh praising you and stuff don't let that shit go to your head because that's how women get a man you know just say thank you but don't let it go to your head you know don't let it go to your head because that's how a lot of guys get caught that's how a lot of guys got some paternity fraud on their hands or they giving up half, half their property half their money to some woman she ran that game on him that's how some gold diggers be getting over. That's how they be. There's a lot of women out here be scamming some men. See, let's talk about that for a second. Because some game can be good, but when you get that bad game, when you get that negative game, and she just straight scamming you or something, you got to pay attention to that. And yeah, you got some women out here scamming. Because our guys out here acting like they don't, I was like, you stupid as fuck. You stupid as fuck. And there's plenty of guys who get in this game, one way or the other. Or asking what's up. Plenty of guys. And they ain't, they ain't really paying attention to the things they need to be paying attention to. They ain't paying attention, shit. Cause yeah, they 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 running it. They are running it. And indeed, some pimps will tell you they got more game than men. They got more game than men. Because even when they're shooting their shot, that's game right there. You know, some guys be like, oh, how come they can't come straight up? Because they're not men. They're not physically stronger than men. So they got to figure out what they're going to do to get what they want. And that's really what their game is about. Now, unless, now sometimes that game could be something as simple as making you a plate. Hey, you benefiting from that. You know, some of them, their game is just being real nice. Whatever they're going to do to get your attention, that's their game. That's their game. Like I said, if it's a good thing, good. But if they scamming or something, a lot of guys get caught up because, it, and it really is the guys who don't respect what, what, what the woman's bringing. You know, to paraphrase uh, Sun Tzu, you know, he had said, if you know your enemy, you know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. If you know your woman, if you know women, you know yourself, you need not fear the results of a hundred seductions. Indeed, we, we won't even get into women who are truly seductive. We've been getting some of these women up here they look average and shit. They be getting like some model looking motherfucker. You be like, how they get, how they doing that? They got game. Just respect that shit. I mean, it is what it is. Don't get mad and everything. And if you somebody who don't think they, they have it, ain't nothing I can tell you. If you get played, you get played. If you get played, you get played. Hey, ain't nothing I can do about it. Trying to tell you, like I said, I told you, I can, anytime I can remember, let's put it like this, I've never got played for money. Never got played for money. Even taking women out on dates and stuff. It's all, always got something out of it. Always got something out of it. You know? Cause I recognized what it was coming. Always recognized it. That's how you gotta be. And that's the game. And women got it. Just recognize they got it. Don't get mad. 
and stuff. Just recognize it. Recognize when she's trying to run game on you and everything. All right? Just recognize it. Seriously. Don't be on some dumb shit out here thinking, oh, what do you do? And especially, especially, see, when he, well, let me hit y'all with one thing. Don't think women are stupid out here or dumb. Because when you get guys like that, that's the one who gets played the easiest. Because then they'll play right into, they'll play right into it. All right? They, 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 they'll, they will play right into it. If you're thinking it, a woman will give you that, but then you look up, all of a sudden, you done gave up money. You done gave up time. You done gave up everything to this woman you supposedly thought was dumb. I'm telling you, watch those ones who play that innocent role. Those are, shoot, those are some of the deadliest ones. Anyway, though, I want y'all to think about that. And there's still going to be some guys who who ain't going to listen and stuff. And I know some women, some women running some games, some scammers and stuff, they going to be like, yeah, Ron, go ahead and tell them. We still got ours. And plus, the ones who need to be listening to you, we still getting their money. Ha, ha, ha. They be laughing and stuff. Shoot. But they out there. Alright? So anyway, that's all I got for today, y'all. I get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.